Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Maitha. We are looking at CL Form 2, Lesson 19. Our topic is still under Jesus works of compassion. And our subtopic today is the raising of the widow's son in Maine. Welcome. We start by looking at our lesson goals. What is expected of the learner by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the raising of the widow's son in Maine. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the raising of the widow's son in Maine. So this is found in Luke chapter 7, 11 verse to 17. A widow is a woman whose husband is dead. So when Jesus was at the entrance of the city of Nain, he saw a widow weeping. The widow was weeping because her only son had died and the procession taken to the burial. Jesus had compassion on the widow and told her, weep no more and to dry her tears. Jesus then touched the coffin and ordered the young man to rise from the dead. He touched the casket and said, young man, I say unto you, arise. So the dead man sat up and began to speak. According to the Jewish, touching a coffin is sinful because it made one dirty. So, but Jesus did not worry about that. He touched the coffin and asked the man to sit up. The people in the funeral position saw the man get up and talk. They were, all the people were filled with fear and glorified God, saying that God had visited his people. So the people were filled with fear, but they glorified God and said that he had visited his people. The news about Jesus went out through the country and the surrounding territories. So that's the raising of the window sun in Nain. We found that we have seen that Jesus was in, was in the when Jesus entered the city gate in Nain, he found he saw a woman, a widow weeping because his only son had died. So Jesus and the funeral procession was taken on. So Jesus told the woman to dry her tears. He touched the, fun the casket and told the man to sit up. The man si sat up and began to talk. So we see the people were filled with fear and they glorified God. What lesson do we learn from the reason of the widow's son in name? One lesson learned is that Jesus has power over death. Jesus has power over death. We see him raising that son who was dead. He is the giver of life. God is the giver or the source of life. He emphasizes with the suffering. Jesus emphasizes with those that are suffering. You see how he felt compassion for the widow who was weeping. Traditional law should not hinder a Christian from performing acts of compassion. The Jewish believe that touching the coffin made one dirty, but that did not hinder Jesus from touching the coffin and raising the man from dead. So traditional laws should not hinder a Christian from performing acts of compassion. Christians should acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus. Christians should acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus. So that's the end of our lesson. We have looked at the raising of the window's son in name, and we have also looked at the lesson Christian learned 
from the lazing of the window sun in May. So I will leave you with the following questions. One, describe the lazing of the window sun in May. Question two, state lessons Christian learn from the lazing of the window sun in May. For our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education, Student Book 2, KLB 3rd Edition. Thank you for joining us. For this and more, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimo TV, also on Facebook, Elimo TV, and on Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore K. See you next time.